Greetings and welcome to Green again. I'm Catherine Sky, and we are here playing this demo. Huge thank you to the developer for uh, letting me play this game. I think it's free for everyone, actually. So um, I appreciate the email in that case, uh, letting me know about this game. Um, this is a kind of a neat little, like a city builder, um, farming kind of game that has some kind of puzzly elements to it and I practiced and I really enjoyed playing it so that's why I want to play a game for you right now so let's go ahead and start a brand new game and uh, I don't know I'll just change these numbers sure into anything okay so we have um, two different zones that we can begin in we have the town zones and this is the easiest one to start off with and this is the one that the uh, de developer uh, recommends that you play first um, I think what we'll do is we'll have a town zone and maybe we'll do the junkyard zone if you are uh, if I get enough comments liking these videos so um, we'll keep that open uh, for the future but let's go ahead and play the town zone right now and um, it's kind of a good start off place where you can kind of learn the mechanics of the game. So I find that really nice and useful. Okay, so we are going to build a town here. And, uh, oh, where is the, why is there no music? Hello, music, why are you not there? I don't know. Anyway, our task is to get our little tiny plant people they are currently doing stuff, right? So we need to get a population of 400. We have 10. We need to place 150 decorations, which is an awful lot of decorations I found. Um, and then we need to capture ancient buildings to decipher them. That's a goal right now. Now on this map, and I've paused it. Actually, you know what? We don't have to pause it. We can, we can do some stuff first. Um, on our map here, we have various resources. The most important, which I will say, is the water. We need to go ahead and put wells on stuff. And as we get wells, we're going to get some water, uh, water production, which is going to show up here in the right-hand corner. And so they're going to bash around for a tiny bit and get this going. The music is very quiet. I tuned the YouTube, <laughs> my recording to like the, uh, yeah, okay, four, eight. Okay, that's great. Um, and so we're gonna build, first of all, some crops. Now the crops are interesting because with the crops, there are some that sell for more money, like these sell for two, these sell for four, four and two. However, the ones that sell for four only grow during one season. So it's, they're actually ending up being the same. So I'm going to go ahead and just, um, let's get some carrots here. Uh, let's make carrots for now. We're just going to kind of grow them around. Now, if the plots are touching, by the way, they uh, gain a bonus. Uh, if, if you have like all the stuff touching, they gain a bonus. Now our, our little guys here, not all of them are working. You can see only four are working. We can actually um, go outside of our area. You can see right now that um, there's a green area. That's our area of influence. We can't build outside that area, um, but we can uh, collect stuff like these various like crystals and plants and uh, scrap things, we can get those. We cannot, however, put a well over here. We have to have that in our area of influence. So let's go ahead and just uh, increase the speed a bit. And we also want to start building houses. So we can start building cottages. So what I'm gonna do is build these cottages in a formation uh, like that and then have them go around a particular let's put a festive tree it's still sort of post it's post Christmas it is definitely still post Christmas we can we can agree on that <laughs> anyway so yeah we have that um, crystals are a very important resource that um, there are certain stages of the game where you really want to uh, make sure that you have enough of those and not run out. So we are actually out of water. That's why we couldn't put any more houses down. So if we choose our next uh, outpost, you can see we need a population of 20 to earn that next outpost. We'll go ahead and put it, oh man. I'll go ahead and put it he maybe here, maybe there. We'll, we'll hedge our bets here and hope that there's some more water in that area. 
Um, let's see, we can go ahead and put a well. I always like to put the wells first. All right, nice. We get two wells there. All right, cool. So we have a pumping station pumps water from deep underground to increase your water supplies. That is really lucky to get. That's nice. Okay, we got a new decoration, the fountain. So then uh, this is a forge, generates a steady income of materials. That's nice because we need materials for building stuff. And then we also have a nomad house that gives us extra workers. Yay. Okay, great. Oh, we go, wow, we got two pumping stations. Oh, that's lucky. All right, metal chunks can be harvested for lots of materials once you unlock heavy tools. Now, we do have, um, this is our first researchy thingy. We can get the marketplace, enables buying food and selling crystals. We'll get that. Um, and then we can sell materials. Um, I'm not, I don't know, I haven't really felt the need to sell materials. I feel like we actually ran out in my test game, so I don't really want to sell materials. Uh, the next is a technician's cottage. We need 15 crystals. We have tons right now, uh -huh. but uh, that's going to be really important for um, dealing with pests because indeed this game does have pests in it, which are not great. They ain't making us feel so good. No sorry, Bob, they ain't. All right, I am out of coins. All right, that's okay. Once we start selling these things, we'll be in a good spot. Now, um, if we plant on better soil, here's farmland. That's actually really nice. This is farmland also. There's dirt here and farmland. Um, what is this? This is dirt. This is gravel. So gravel, gravel is like the worst kind of soil, but farmland is the best. So you have gravel, dirt, and then farmland. And some of the crops, like these grapes, they only grow in farmland. So all of these, the minimum ones are uh, in gravel, unfortunately, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get to it. Um, we can start, we can build more houses. We're going to need some, uh, not enough coins. Okay, folks, keep on building, do your thing. Ah, it's probably the wrong season for them. Yeah, there's, these are guys spring and autumn. So I don't really <laughs> like, the, the seasons have very strange symbols. I like summer, which is a sun. That would be like this one. And then of course the leaf is fall and the uh, snowflake is winter. Uh, spring is a ther thermometer. And I'm like, why wouldn't you just put like a daisy or something? That's, that's I, I would love to see not a temperature because when I looked at this, I'm like, what is temperature? Because it made me think, ah, minimum temperature of something, but it didn't like make sense to me, if, if you know what I mean. So anyway, um, I'm hoping that that can be changed in the future. This game, of course, is still a demo. So um, lots of progress to go later. All right, let's go ahead and we can actually farm all of these. There's yellow weeds or orange weeds that can be farmed for money. That's why there's a money on, a symbol on them, the coin, as well as materials. So let's get all that stuff. These orange weeds are apparently sellable. Yeah, we can sell those things for money. All right, we have stuff and things. So... Um, Right, place decoration next to houses 20. That's uh, a lot. So we could do this and then there. All right, cool. And then we can also place down another cottage or two. Let's see. And then I'll place some decorations so that the houses get a boost. If you um, if you place them next to a decoration or another house, they allow another person to live there. So one one becomes two or three or four or five, which is kind of nice. All right, so in the winter, all the stuff dies, which is not great. But there is a technology that allows us to save those. Where is it? This one, frost doesn't destroy plants. Ah, we can get our technician's cottage. Excellent. Um, this is a nice thing. So workers can clear nanobugs. That's a really good thing. So three workers um, 
per hex, or one worker is enough to clear nanobugs, which is great. So we can unlock right now a new crop, which is the pumpkin. Profit of three or eggplant is also profit of three. Um, so that's winter. Or summer spring I think we'll go summer spring because if we do summer spring then we're gonna have um, there's not gonna be as much need uh, so so right now the farmers are not working except in summer and uh, fall right I think yeah carrots let's just check those again let's check carrots yeah no these are spring and fall oh okay well that could be summer fall well, we already unlocked it, so there we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and then we have stuff like this. We have these uh, quests. Harvest 20 onions or uh, leeks. 15 carrots rewards 185 monies. So I do want to get those going. Let's see. I want to also move outward. Let's go here and just place this here and then add some more crops over here. Oh, these are the bugs. Ooh, we got to get rid of them bugs. Ay ay ay. Because otherwise they kill our crops and that's bad. That's like really bad. Um, we really would like to get this nano separator technology. It's pretty important. Um, what I think I'll do though, is I'll get one field of leeks uh, here. And then I'll get uh, pumpkins going on here as well. Okay, looks like some of these are in the in not great farmland here. Hmm. Let's see if we can do this, if they'll grow at all. No, it doesn't look like it's growing much. I have to say, not great at all. Not at all. So yeah, they're not going to be able to harvest that many pumpkins here. It's because the soil is pretty poor out there. Okay, we got a birch tree. That's nice. I guess we should have gone down this way, maybe, or up here further. Let's see, do we have enough? Uh, nope, we need to make more cottages. Okay, and let's grab, I always like to grab the wells first. I know it didn't look like at that time, but I do actually <laughs> like to do that. Um, okay, and then maybe we grab up here. Or, yeah, let's go like here. That seems great. Okay, so now we're gonna get our pumpkins going on. Yay. And we can also buy some decorations here. Let's get, let's see, hedges or birches. Let's get these birch trees. That, that sounds nice. Why not? Now, if you want to replant them, you can do that. All you have to do is select a crop and then replace it over the top of another one. And it doesn't, it costs you money, but it doesn't cost you crystals. See, we're actually almost out of crystals. I find that like, wow, where did they all go? But yeah, they all went, they all went. Now, one thing to keep track of is food versus money. So at the moment, we have a ton of food. So I'm going to move this more toy toward coins. So we get more coins from our purchases of uh or not from our harvest not purchases what am i saying here um ah yes let's go ahead and collect a bunch of stuff out here especially the crystals those are really critical to get going on mm -hmm. okay yay good now i want to plant more of these pumpkins out here because they are a little bit more profit um yes okay and wow these are just like wild well we can put decorations in between or whatever it's okay oh my god how many bugs wow oh boy that's a bunch all right, and remember, as your population goes up, so does the need for food. So you got to kind of keep a balance of stuff like this. So let's see. This area has a pump and a water thing. Let's go there. This also has a myco farm, which is basically a mushroom house that generates food automatically. That's nice. F another forge. That's great. Um, so we really want to focus on one of the things I def- Ooh, what are we getting here? A mystery bag unlocks a new decoration. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Oh, we got two micro farms. Oh, peonies. Oh, that sounds lovely. You know what? I'm going to put 
because we need so many decorations, it's actually a crazy number of them. You'll see. You'll see when we get there. Um, that is a nuts number of decorations, and I feel like it should be much smaller. Um, but yeah, look at the, the bugs. They just like cleared out our, our farming. That's really rough. But it's okay. We're getting there. We're getting snow, though. Sad times. Um, so basically, we really want to rush the, um, the weather control, right? Frost doesn't destroy plants. Okay. Workers can convert gravel into dirt. Enables unlocking pineapples. Yay. Okay, let's get that. So now we need the weather control. 50 crystals, 5,000 money. Now I wonder if these can be... If they can terraform this area? Oh, they are. Look at them. They're already terraforming the area. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, did they... Okay, let's see. Let's delete the peonies here. Because I think we can uh, get crops here soon. Okay. I want to get a well in our new area as well. Oh, whoops. Whoopsies. Uh, water is important, so it is it is good to actually dig that up and put a well down. Especially in the initial stages of the game. Because later you get kind of a doubling effect on the water. So, yeah. Okay. 65 tiles of corn. Holy fuzzy cats. That's a lot. All right. Um, decorations next to houses. Yeah. All right. We'll get there eventually. We are getting the, the what are they? Are they leeks or onions? I keep, okay. They are leeks. Okay. Yep. This one may not be worth it. The 65 tiles because that's a lot of plants. Um, 10 weed tiles. Those are the orange weeds that you can, you get outside there. So those are pretty easy usually to get going. Uh -huh. They do grow back eventually as well. Okay, good, very good, very good. So now we got these pumpkins, which are pretty nice. They're a higher profit amount. All right, but we really, really need the other stuff. But the other thing is we also need to get more crystals because we can't get more research without more crystals so we need population of a hundred now we have this next uh, uh type of house here they are uh three plus one so that's nice so that's going to give us a lot faster growth here which i like all right cool so that's over a hundred and that means we're going to go for this little guy over here. This is our ancient building, which we need to get all four of those uh, to win the scenario. So let's go ahead and build a one of these. I'm just going to go ahead and just go in regular tiles up there. I think that's a good idea. Uh-huh. Yeah, there we go. All right. That's great. Okay. Let's get stuff and things. Ooh, not that many stuffs and things available here. Um, get more housing. Okay. And meadows. Ooh, sunflowers. Yay. Okay, so you have to re-click the menu if you want uh, to get the latest thing. Van Gogh's favorite. Yeah, no doubt. No, no doubt. No doubt. All right, let's get some of these weeds going on. Yes. My goodness, we are just needing a whole bunch of things and stuff. All them things, all them stuffs. All right, so then let's put out one of these guys, which will be here. Hmm. I guess there is a good spot. We want to go ahead and reach this area here. Uh, we can also increase, uh, remember to keep increasing your farms. It's pretty important in general. Um, oh, we're out of water. Wow, that's not great. Okay, let's get water. Water. Okay. And then here, 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 there. Mm -hmm. And let's get more crystals. Now, at some point, you're going to want to start saving crystals because you have these really expensive researches. Weather control. Frost doesn't destroy plants. Yay! Aha! 
Okay, those crops which grow in cool weather also grow in winter. Hooray! So anything that doesn't need summer, I guess, will also grow in winter. That's really great. That's pretty nice. We also want to get this nano separator. One worker is enough for the bugs. So then the next thing launches expeditions generating crystals every day. This is a game changer because uh, when I was doing my test game, I was so worried about running out of crystals. Um, and as you see, we have 23 and then there's no more on the map that we see. This is really scary. So um, we're just going to try to do our best and get stuff. Let's get this ancient site within reach here. Um, maybe we go up this away. Oh, here's some. Yay. Okay, we can go maybe this way. Oh, that's too far there. But we can put that one there and dig up these crystals here. And those, but yeah, having the automatic crystals every day is very nice. It's really nice. Okay, let's get a well out here and there. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, good, good. And we'll build one over here as well. Okay, so we got one ancient building, building captured. And that gave us, I think, a chunk of crystals, which is also extremely nice. So now we can um, look at some of this stuff. Is this dirt? That's dirt. It's not farmland. Okay, so that's fine. Um, we also, I want to build some more farms because we do have the ability to do so because we need to kind of make our income better as well. So that that's nice if we can get it going. Because we have all these workers, which I'm sure have very little to do right now. So we want to keep them busy. Now, we also want to keep our houses um, growing. Okay. Um, let's see. Housing. Yep, because we can't build any more yet. So. Peonies. Let's go. Nice. Okay, so look, look. See? frosty time no plants are dying this is great this is actually great so these guys they grow in cooler weather okay i'm guessing that spring and fall are cool weather so carrots might be one of the best crops to grow all together uh wow look at bell peppers they grow in three seasons did we get that oh we did okay these guys grow in two seasons Actually, great watermelons might be, be pretty good because they grow in um, uh, f uh, cool weather, which is fall. Um, and I guess that makes them grow through winter as well. But yeah, we need to make some bell peppers going somewhere here. Oh, looks like these might only be farmland. Let's see. Did I mess that up completely? Yes. Minimum farmland. I'm going to wait till we can actually see the ground. It's really difficult to see right now. Okay, we do have another outpost available. Um, we need to get more crystals. I'm actually really worried about the crystals now. It's getting to worry time. Or what is this? That's a micro farm. Okay. This is the Nomad House. All right, so I really would like to... Hmm, where do we go for crystals? Maybe we go toward this other ancient building. Let's see. In the, in the winter, I really don't like how you can barely see the AoE area. I guess it doesn't matter since I just pulled it up. Okay, that's okay, I guess. It's not so bad. Uh, here, go there. And so what we're looking for now... Ooh, we need to adjust the food up a bit by the way, keep, keep an eye on your food because your food uh, helps with uh, efficiency and happiness of your, of your little people. So that's kind of important. Okay, so grab those crystals. Let's build all the wells we can. There we go. Yes, okay, good, good. And then we have this sort of like water area or even if it's a dry lake, but it still needs a bridge. So let's see where we can build an outpost. All right, we need one there then. Oh wait, that's not the right area, is it? No, not quite. It's like here. So on that corner there, let's see if I can build a bridge there. All it costs is money. And then they have to go build it, of course. 
But yes, we were looking for farmland. Man, I find... So one of the things that I would love to see better is to see farmland under the green or something like that. Um, because when I'm trying to like plan farmland, it's really difficult difficult to do so. So let's see. This is... Oh, that's actually dirt. It's not farmland at all. Oh, no. Um, okay, well, is there any over here? There's like one or two tiles around every now and again. Oh, oh, here we go. Uh, let's make you farm... No. Put that one there. One here. There we go. Okay, so we have some more of these expensive bell peppers to sell. That's very nice. Okay, uh, we were going to go down toward that way. All right, so let's build another outpost uh, once we get to 260 population. Okay. Okay. I think I can... I can probably start another colony. Maybe we start it up here because there's a lot of buildings up here and there's not much space for um, crop areas. Okay, and let's get some peonies here. All right, 295 now. Hooray, that's plenty enough to make another outpost. Oh, you can't place a building there. Oh no, okay, well, fine. As you like. I thought you could place a building on a uh, on a bridge. Oh well, it is okay. Don't worry. Um. All right. So we're still looking for more of these crystals. Uh, we might be able to find some if we go across, but that's gonna just cost money to get across here. So let's get those made. Now, if we look at this. We have, um, we can get improved pumps. Wells produce plus one water. Yes, it just costs money, not crystals. So that's pretty nice. Heavy tools, we can harvest metal chunks. Food production, that is nice. But I kind of want to save the money for the crystals. Or um, for The 10,000 is kind of expensive. Also be aware of the crop disease thing. That is a thing that will kill your economy very quickly. Trust me on that. Okay, let's see, we can do just get some more of these pumpkin farms out here. Make a little bit more money. Okay, now, uh, can we build, we can build another outpost out here. Let's just get both of those water thingy-majingies. It's just short of this fancy thing over here. The artifact building. So here are the other two artifact buildings over there. Okay, come on. Reveal, reveal. Yes, we are getting stuff. But we have 49 thingies. Okay, they are grabbing those crystals, which is great. There's a pump over here. That's always nice. But just keep note, we just basically doubled our, almost doubled our water consumption or water uh, production, which is great. It is truly nice. Very nice. So, um, we're at 65 crystals. Ah, why? We need 70, basically. So, it'll be fine. We'll get there. And to my knowledge, there's no other way of exploring other than creating these outposts. So, that's a thing that we kind of want to deal with. Um, let's see. What do we have for cool weather crops here? Let's see. Bell peppers. Yeah, so they're hopefully going to be growing four seasons out of the year. Uh, grapes is also another nice crop. They are worth five and these are worth three. Can we unlock? Oh, we can't. It's a hundred crystals. Yeah, we don't want to try to do that yet. So we need a population of 300 in order to get more um, stuff and things. Oh yeah, we started up here. Of course we did. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Funny enough, the decorations die down. I don't really understand that why they die. Um, if the if it's a greenhouse, the, isn't the whole place a greenhouse and not just the crops? I find that a bit strange and kind of silly, but that's okay. We're we're just we're just observing. We're just looking. Okay, let us add another outpost somewhere. Uh, her here maybe. Maybe there. Let's try to go out there and see how that works. See what's revealed. All right. Ah, oh, we did get some crystals. Excellent. Wow. Look at how many. Oh, they're all digging up the thing. That's nice. Okay, cool. So then looking at our quests again, we're supposed to harvest some corn, place decorations next to houses, clear nanobug infested tiles. That's always a nice thing. Um, we can put some random crops out in the world here. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, serious business. So there's some corn. Sometimes I'll have like just, even if I have one uh, farmhouse of each type, it kind of clears out the quests over time and it's fine. Okay, we have crystals. Let's get our research. Or not. I need a thousand materials. Ooh, okay. All right. So we need to, let's harvest some of the, um, yeah, some of these weeds and stuff. Well, I guess we can't get those. But yeah, we get uh, materials from the weeds. We, we also get some on a daily basis. Ah, there they are. We already have our thousand. So it's not a big deal. All right, still, it's always good to go and get some stuff going on there. So our corn harvest is going to get us 194 coins. Not that that matters at the levels that we're talking about here. Um, it's interesting, the second playthrough, like when you know a lot of the things, um, it becomes a lot easier to play. <laughs> Imagine that. Because <laughs> I really struggled with money for quite a while, actually. Okay. Oh, free crystals every day. Okay, every plant is worth plus one money. Let's take it. Hauling carts. Crystal yield from tiles and caravans. Arr, that's nice. Air filters. Outpost radius plus one. Okay. Propagator. Food pro food production. I think we want the food production next. Because the more food we can produce, the more we can sell of the crops elsewhere. Oh, here's some bugs. Oh, them nasty little bugs. Mm-mm. Not good. Not good at all. Show date. Okay. Let's place some more farms here. Cool. So that's more pumpkins. And then bell peppers. I think we kind of... I wonder if there's a... I, I haven't... I didn't go through the entire game, by the way. I want. There are still some mysteries to be found here. Um, okay, so we need harvest leeks and corn. So I'll get some leeks out here as well. There we go. That'll do. All right. So tar target population of 400. And decorations. 150 is an awful lot of decorations. That is many, many decorations. Wait, oh, this is the top of the map, I think. Okay, that's our limit up here. So this was not maybe the best place to start a town. Ah, but now we have mansions, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, that's going to be a lot. But I guess we can just keep on putting outposts out here and work in it. Um... Let's add one there, and then we'll go toward these other areas down out here. Okay, bigger population needed over there. Okay, cool. Very cool. All right, and then we're going to just get all of this stuff going. Let's go and get our wells before we get forget them. Uh-huh. And then you guys too on this side. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Very cool. So we're working toward this thing. These are cliffs and they are impassable. 
as it says. So we can get, oh, let's get all these things. I was going to just wait till we capture the territory, but I'm like, eh, it's fine. We'll get it. It'll be fine. So we need a population of 380 next for stuff. But we also need to keep planting stuff because otherwise we're going to run out of food and run out of stuff. So let's see if we can just, we're doing what, mostly these guys? Let's see if there are any spaces for bell peppers out here. Probably, oh, there's some here. Okay. Huh? Okay, cool, very cool. We can have a little bell pepper colony up there, make a little bit more money. Mm. There we go. Got to keep that money coming in. Got to keep the food coming in as well. All right. So we are, we are here. Yay. Now then, um, let's go ahead and build a couple more mansions out here. Not enough materials. Oh, dear. I guess that's where we might want to buy some. This is the marketplace where you can buy things. We can sell crystals, upgrade marketplace to unlock. Okay. And then we need to buy, we can buy food. Um, but we actually want to buy materials. Can we do that? We probably have enough money. Scrap dealers. Okay, selling materials. Heavy tools. Harvest metal chunks. Let's do that. Now this thing can convert dirt into farmland. Oh, that's tasty. Let's increase the crystal yield. That sounds very nice. Um, okay, food production would be good. That's 7,000 monies. Oh, mm, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. More food production means more m more food that we can sell. So this is very, very good. So let's see. Place decorations. Clear 10 weed tiles. I guess the end of this is just going to be like spamming decorations, really. Like this. The flowers, I feel like, could be a little bit more, I don't know, more more bigger or something. They kind of like look like, like tiny weeds from far away. <laughs> they don't really have a big impact, I have to say. Uh, let's see. How much uh, materials did we need for this? It was 1,500. Okay. So that's fine. We That's good. Um, we need to look for more 4G things. These generate materials. So we can actually build another outpost there. That will help us for sure. See if we can find any more forges on the map that are not captured yet. Um, this is could be really good for water. Not that we need any water, so I'm going to leave it. There's food here. Let's just take that capture for food. We get the myco farm over there and we get two water things. That's nice. Yeah, 47 tiles of corn next to each other is an awful lot. Awful lot. Clear three weed tiles. Here we go. We'll just collect these. Actually, that could get us a few more materials as well. Now, I haven't tested to see if bigger weeds give us more materials, by the way. I just, like, clear them all and just call it good. Because sometimes the weeds grow really big. Okay, cool. So, that wow, we're at the edge of the map. I see. Okay, so we didn't get much for this outpost. We just got a couple of wells there, but that's okay. It's fine. Oh, that's good. That's a nice one. Okay. Actually, I could just put these everywhere here because we are going to get the technology to convert into farmland. So that's going to be even better for us. And that means we can also get 
things like grapes growing. That is profit of six uh, and grows in, I'm guessing, almost uh, well, three seasons. Pineapples only grow in the summer, so that's not as great. Even though they sell for more, they uh, yeah have a shorter growing season, much for sure. So it's not really that profitable. Okay, that's a good one. Nice. All right, and I guess here we're gonna just need to go down. Oh wow, we need more population. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll just put a bunch of sunflowers out there. Nice. Okay, cool. Very good. Alright, so we're harvesting beets. Okay, looks like we have some tiny farm out there harvesting beets. That's pretty good. Now then, can we do anything with our tech air filters? Yes. Now, we oh, wait, 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 no, we were going to get this thing. We don't have enough materials or enough money. So, yeah, let's go on another material spree and grab a whole bunch of these, like, the weeds and stuff. We needed 1,500. I keep forgetting, and I built all those houses and stuff. I was just, like, completely unfocused. I apologize for the inconvenience. Let's see. Go and grab stuff, folks. Get it up from the ground. Yep. Okay. Nice. Ah, there we go. Now we have plenty and some. All right, cool. So now we can get fertilizer. Wow, plant growth takes one day less. Oh boy, that's only 22,000 monies. Um, all right, so now we just got to make a push for the buildings, I think. And maybe upgrade our uh, plants a little bit. Let's see, we can get grapes now. Oh, look at them digging up that farmland. Yo. I think we're just going to replace all of these with grapes. They will grow like in every season. That's so nice. I'll leave one corn thing, or not corn, but carrots. Yeah, I think this is going to get us more money. Not that getting money actually matters right now. I feel like we're kind of... Yeah, I got the market cornered on money. It's fine. It's not something that we need to worry about. Okay, here. Let's go... Let's go this way. Uh, and then kind of this way so we can get both of these. Nice. Excellent. Okay, so now we can actually get that one right now. I'm just going to chunk it on down there. Send this one also down there. All the things. Okay, nice. There we go. So this is, where is the thing? Whoops, did I, I didn't get it. No, there it is. Okay, oh, there it is. Okay, so we did capture this one. Nice, so that's three of four. And then we go and grab the next one, which is down here. No water path. All right, so we need some kind of a bridge here. And in the meantime, we can also start spamming these decorations. We need a hundred more decorations, which is a lot. So I'm just going to start spamming. We'll just go with tulips. Why not? There's a let's see, well over here. Oh, the tulips look very pretty. I like those very, very much. That's really sweet. Nice. What is this? Oh, this is a farm. Why is this not, like, producing? 
in all of these tiles. Hello? Do I need to plop it again? Bell peppers. Yo. Okay, that's weird. That it wasn't automatically like... That it didn't automatically replant it. I would have thought that each spring that they would replant it at the very least. Anyway, tulips, let's keep on going. How many do we need? Several more. Okay. Mm, I don't know if I can build a farm out here. Bell peppers. Oh, these are still pumpkins. Wow. These actually should be... We should make all of these to be grapes. Earn more money. Greedy. Yes, we're greedy because we play farming games and we like them a lot. We like being greedy in farming games. That's what we do, man. That's our jam. Yo. Okay. Let's get in still more of these decorations. Daisies. Let's go for daisies now. How many more do we need? Oh, dear me. Still like 50 more. This is just... It's way too many. I think it's just spam at this point. You really don't need that many for the number of housing, ho homes you have. So I think it's kind of silly, to be honest. I, I don't know. I don't like that requirement. Okay, the, the water path there... Let's keep on spamming. Let's see, sunflowers. Oh, there's a water thing that I missed, apparently. A watery thing. There we go. Okay, and how many do I need? Two more. I guess they want you to just fill the whole world with plants or something. I don't know. Seems strange. Should we do a sproutling, a snow sproutling? Sure. We'll have two of those. That'll be our last two decorations. Here we go. Yay! Oh, wait, we didn't get the other building. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsies. I thought we had that sorted. Uh, nope. Apparently not. Uh, okay. Okay, it's walking distance, apparently. All right, it'll be fine. We'll get it sorted. All right, and we're going to grab this stuff. Yay. All right, so that's going to be all of that. All of this is going to be converted to farmland. And we're going to capture this place very shortly. All right, congratulations. You have built a safe settlement for your tribe. Creative mode can be enabled by clicking the pencil icon at the bottom left. You can also restart this zone in simulation or creative mode, even regenerate the map with a different seed. Yay! So this fit very nicely into our typical YouTube video time, so that was quite nice. Um, anyway, we've made a lovely little colony. I'm really happy with this. And uh, if you want to, check out the demo on Steam. It's a very, very cute game. I like it very much. Um, and I think I would like to actually do the, uh, the next scenario. And we'll have that for another video, so watch for that. And uh, I just want to say thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.